Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to run um, a program at CarCity that requires a graphical user interface. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is install a program called MobiXterm. So I'm going to bring up a browser here and just search for Xterm. Um, there's a free version and a pay version of this software. We're just going to use the the uh, free version, that's all you need for this. This is uh, instructions for um, Windows. For Macintosh, it'll be almost the same, except you'll install a program called uh, Xquartz. All right, so I'm going to choose the installer edition. That downloads a zip file, which I can open. Uh, on Windows, this MSI file is an installer file, so I'll double click that. And that takes me to the MobaXterm install wizard. And then I can start MobaXterm. Here's what it looks like. And I already have a Wheeler session set up, but I'll show you how to do that. We're going to select SSH for Secure Shell. And let's say we want to connect to um, Wheeler. We just type in the host name for the Wheeler cluster. And I'm going to specify my username, my regular Carsey username and hit OK. And it's as easy as that. It's going to prompt me for a password. All right, so um, this should look very familiar. This is our regular shell that we have on the clusters. And a nice feature of MobaXterm is it gives you um, a visualization of the files and directories uh, in your current directory. All right, so this is a shell as usual. The first thing I'm going to check, um, because we want to use a compute node, and because we want to go on a graphical interface, we're going to have to be interactive. We can't schedule a, um, the graphical interface to pop up at a later time. We have to do it uh, interactively on a node. And I've shown you earlier in a previous video how to create an interactive session. And this is going to be much the same. The only difference is um, we're going to specify X11 forwarding. So X11 is the graphical interface that Linux uses. So the first thing I want to do is check to make sure that there are some nodes free right now because this is going to be real-time interactive. It's not going to be scheduled for later. And I can do that with QGROK, QGROK. And I can see that there's currently one compute node available. There's one debug node available. So let's see if we can grab that, um, that uh, node on the default queue. So I'm going to type qsub dash i for interactive, followed by an x, which indicates x11 forwarding. All right, looks like I've been assigned compute node wheeler194. And for this example, we're going to open up um, a program called star ccm. But this would work for any program that requires a graphical interface. So module load star ccm. So we can get access to the binaries for that program. It loaded, no complaints. And now I just type star CCM plus, which is the name of the, the main program for star CCM. You can run star CCM in batch mode, but if you're creating meshes, for example, you might want to use the GUI. Now I'm running this over the internet um, from home because this is during the COVID uh, lockdown. And so the graphical interface is going to be slow, but you can set up um, the, the tasks you want to run and they will, they will run um, in the background. So even if the graphical interface is slow, the computation will run uh, on the compute node. All right, and so here's the star CCM uh, graphical interface that showed up. As I said, it's a little bit slow. but it is working correctly. And I can use all the features of the interface to load in my models and uh, generate those mesh files I was talking about.
Let's try this with um, with MATLAB. And MATLAB loads and has the graphical interface. All right. Okay, so I've switched over to a Macintosh here so that I can show you how to do this um, under OS X. First thing I want to do is install Xcords, which I mentioned a moment ago. So I'm just going to search for Xcords here. It used to be that um, OS X had an X11 um, uh, server install, that's what Xcords is. It's called a server. It basically serves the graphics to you. Uh, but now you have to install Xcords separately. So I just go to the website. This is all a free download, xcords.dmg. Let that download. And I install it like any other OS X program. All right, so that installed successfully. And now, um, where MOVA Xterm had a terminal built in, we're gonna use the OS X provided terminal. So, search for terminal here. I'm actually gonna get one of the different color. All right. And now, I can just type SSH, um, into uh, Wheeler like I normally would. I'm going to make one small modification here in a moment, and that is to add a dash Y argument. And this says uh, forward graphics to this OS X machine. Now, sometimes you type dash X on other systems. You're going to use dash Y here on Wheeler. Um, the documentation literally says if dash X doesn't work, then use dash Y. It's the alternate um, forwarding system. So we can use dash y here. Enter my password. Just like we do with mobile term, I'm going to check um, to see how many nodes are available. This time there are no default queue nodes available, so I'm going to use the debug queue. Now I'll do that with q sub dash i x, just like before. But this time I'll specify the debug queue with this dash q argument. I've been assigned Wheeler 302. Let's do uh, star CCM again. And the GUI loads. Now, there are some errors here because it's having to use um, software rendering, so it doesn't have a video card on those compute nodes, so it's falling back on a different mode um, that allows it to run still, but you will get those errors, and that's pretty frequent with um, software you're running um, over the internet like this or over the network, is it'll complain about not having a graphics card to use. All right. So uh, sort of the same as MobyX term, but use exports and use the built-in terminal uh, in OS X. And of course, when we're done with our session, since it's interactive, 
we're going to type exit to exit out. So um, I want to encourage you, if at all possible, to use the batch system. Um, we were lucky this time that there's one node available for us to run interactively. But likely that won't be the case. You can use the debug queue, which is used um, is usually less busy. But this is really just when there's no other way for you to get around having to use some graphical user interface feature for the software that you want to run. All right, um, that's the end of this quick bite, and I hope to see you later. Bye bye.